Welcome to the next video in the SDT video tutorial series entitled Working with Alarms. In this video, we'll learn about the three alarm types used in UAS and when to use them. We'll define alarm sets and attach them to measurements. So let's get started. UAS provides us with three types of alarms. We refer to them as absolute alarms, relative alarms, and safe alarms. Absolute alarms are triggered when a defined value is reached or exceeded. There's three levels to define, alert, warning, and danger. Safe alarms suggest that your data should be questioned. If a recorded signal is too low or too high to be considered valid, a safe alarm is triggered. Relative alarms are triggered when a reading is higher or lower than a previous reading by a defined percentage or value. Let's create a new alarm set. From the Utilities menu, choose Alarm Functions, and then New. This opens the Create New Alarm dialog box. First, select the sensor you want to apply this alarm to, and then give the alarm set a name. For ultrasound measurements, we recommend creating alarms that trigger on peak. Now, switch on the modes you want to use. And for absolute mode, let's set our alert at 25, and for the warning, let's go 33 dB. And for danger, let's use 41 dB. We'll also turn on our safe mode. Let's set a lower limit of 5 dB and an upper level of 90. For relative mode, we'll set a warning 8 decibels above the first value, and a danger alarm will trigger at 16 decibels above the first value. Click Save, and you're done. Okay, so we defined an alarm set for our Zone 2 fan motors. Now we can attach our Zone 2 fan motor alarm set to a group of measurements. Click on the Selection button and then Filter. In the Filter window, we'll type Zone 2 and then the colon symbol for AND, capital F Fan, small m Motor, capital N for RS1 Needle, and then open bracket and the capital S. Select All, click on the Alarms button and then Attach with Existing. Scroll through the list until you find the alarm set we defined for Zone 2 fan motors. Click Attach, and you're done. When you synchronize your data tree with your SDT270, the alarms are included, so alarms are triggered live in the field. The Transfer Complete box shows that three alarms were transferred to the SDT270 along with one operator, five surveys, and a total of 263 measurement nodes. All right, well, let's collect some data for Zone 2. The first point in our survey is Zone 2 Fan 1 Motor Outboard Bearing. The data is to be collected with the RS1 Needle Sensor, which I've already plugged into the black input of my STT270 data collector. Check my amplification, fine, touch the bearing, and store the peak reading of 31.7 decibels per microvolt. And what do we see? Well, we see that it triggers in our Zone 2 fan motor alarm, which had an initial alert level set to 25 decibels. We choose to continue, and because an alarm was triggered, the SDT270 takes me back to the same measurement point. Let's see what happens if we trigger a safe alarm. I'll store a measurement below our lower safe limit of 5 dB. There, okay. Let's load those measurements back up to UAS and see what we get. Take a look at the base data tree, and we see that there are some alarms showing. Fan 1 has a blue alarm, which is the alert stage, and Fan 2 has a red alarm, which is the danger stage. If I expand the node for Fan 2, I can quickly see that the outboard motor bearing has triggered the danger alarm. Let's look at Fan 1. Same thing. The outboard motor bearing has triggered an alert alarm. There's an easy way to see how many points are in alarm, and then quickly navigate to the points in alarm using the alarm icons found in the bottom pane. Look, there are three points showing an alarm. One is blue, one is orange, and the other one's red. The color of the icon tells me the alarm is either in an alert, a warning, or a danger stage. The number to the right tells me how many of each alarm type have been triggered. 
Clicking on the blue alert icon automatically expands the tree and takes me directly to the measurement node in Alarm. Now I can click on that node to generate a quick view trend graph. UAS incorporates powerful and flexible alarm functions that allow you to trigger alarms for many scenarios. In this tutorial, I showed you alarms for static ultrasound only. The same alarm functions can be applied to temperature and RPM parameters, allowing alarms to trigger on acoustic friction levels, temperature, and even RPM. I invite you to continue learning more about UAS by watching tutorial videos about static trends.